on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video let me show you how to render with Alpha Channel in Vegas Pro 14. Now before getting into this tutorial I just want to say thank you to you guys, the response from yesterday's video was amazing, you've given me a lot of feedback and I have taken it all into account and I will be making a decision next week on what I'll be doing. So within Vegas Pro 14 I have created this lower third for an example so I'll play it through. As you'll see, that is what it looks like. And of course, for lower thirds, when you want to put it into a video, you don't want to put three tracks in. You just want one track. And of course, you don't want to have to deal with taking off a green screen. We want everything done quickly. So you'll see right now, I only have these three tracks, the text, the blue line, and some more text. And all we're going to do is double click and make sure the render regions cover everything. And I want to make sure this is set to best and full. I'm going to come over to render as. Now, from here, you need to head over to QuickTime 7. Now, note if you do not see QuickTime 7, you will need to install it. A link to it will be in the description. Now, when you come down, select 3 megabytes per second video. Select Customize Template. Now, from here, you'll see the frame size is not what we want. So, we're going to change that. I'm going to put it to 1920 by 1080. And also, the frame rate is at 15 frames. I want it to be at 30. Of course, for those that want it in 60, by all means, you can select 60. And then what you want to do is change your video format to PNG. And where the compressed depth is, you want to change this to 32. Make sure the quality is set to the highest here. Come over to audio. If you have audio, you can keep it. But for me, I don't. So I'm not going to include the audio. Where it says streaming, you can all uncheck this because it's not needed. And as for project, where it says video rendering quality, set this to best. From there, come up to where it says template and you can call this um, alpha channel render. Now, what this will mean is all the settings I've just shown you, you won't need to remember them because it will be saved within your rendered uh, projects. So I'm gonna press the save template button and select okay. So you'll see down here, it says alpha channel render. And this is where all the settings I've just shown you will be saved. So I'm gonna call this lower third and I'm simply gonna render it. Now bear in mind, this is alpha channel. The rendering time may take longer. You can see I'm just only using text and a blue line, but it's still taking over a minute. So it is now done. You can see it says lower third. And all I'm gonna do is drag and drop this into my projects media. You'll see it's right here known as lower third. So I'm gonna drag and drop this onto another video track right here. And you'll see it is rendered with a black background. So you'll see I've added a video underneath, but we still can't see it. So the way you counter this, we're not going to be using chroma key or any video effects. We're going to right click, select properties on the lower third video, head over to media and where it says alpha channel, select this drop down menu and select straight and matted. And from there, select OK. And you'll see this is now visible along with the video. So I'll play this through just like that. But that's it for this video. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.